Hello, these are more Blu-ray, DVD, and uh, video game pickups. Um, last video, I must have been really tired because I forgot to mention uh, the two Switch games I picked up last week. Uh, I got this on sale from Best Buy. It was $15. I used a $5 coupon. Uh, Big Brain Academy, Brain vs. Brain. So I thought I got this for $10. Bucks. Not bad when it just came out. And then for Christmas, I got Game Builder Garage. I'm currently playing this. I'm learning how to program games with this. And then after this, I'll do finally do Metroid Dread. And then I just got this from uh, my local Goodwill. Uh, a Panasonic exclusive Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs uh, uh, 3D Blu-ray. Not for sale, even though I bought it at Goodwill. They don't care. But I have this movie on normal Blu-ray. Now I have the 3D Blu-ray since I have a 3D TV. I also got a Watchmen Director's Cut. I got this on DVD. But then I got this in like a four movie pack. But it was missing the like the Blu-ray special feature disc. So I got this for that. And then there was two uh, iToy games for the PlayStation 2. Uh, Anti-Grav and uh, Operation Spy. These po I I know the iToy games were really that good, but this one looks maybe a little better than this, but I now I have something to actually use the iToy with. Both have the manuals. Then uh, there's like a this like local uh not a thrift store like a Simon shop and they have like different things in there. Uh, this is only the second time I've been there and they have the, this box of stuff here. Uh, I really wanted a few of the items in here, but there's a, uh, I didn't want to pay the, the price they had, but everything turned out good. Uh, the first thing was this was separate on their movie shelf. Just have two, two foot shelves. Uh, this is two bucks. And then the stuff in the box. This whole box was $25. I only wanted a few things in here. Uh, I asked them they could do cheaper, but they said they couldn't. But like I said, half off. But I said, yeah, I'll just get everything. Because the value for this alone, the GameCube controller alone, was like worth it. So they put the movie in here. Then everything in here was 20 bucks instead of 25 so this was two bucks and everything else was 18. So to start out with, uh, a black GameCube controller does need a new cap for the stick, but it seems like it's in good shape. Then not one, but uh, two white nunchucks. And then there's also a third black nunchuck. I really originally didn't want this because I really have one black Wii remote that already has a black nunchuck. And there was a little rust over here on the connector, which uh, should be fine. And then they also had a Wii remote uh, jacket. I just, I'll just put this on one of the ones I have. There was a Wii wheel. Now I got three of these. So happy. There is another a Wii console stand, which I still have mine. There was the the top flaps from a Wii. And this one's still in good shape. They're not broken. So also the top flaps for a black Wii. This one has a broken hinge here. Uh had a a stand for the sensor bar. Had some of the Wii instruction books. It has the some of these pamphlets. It's just the white operations manual. And uh, oh, it does have this one too. Okay. Okay, it has both of the main Wii uh, instruction books. There was this battery holder for the Xbox 360, which one of mine has a black one, so I'll just swap with this white one if this one's still good. 
There was a nice component cable here, but uh, not one specifically for the Wii or anything. Uh, there were some floppy disks, but uh, those were tossed out by the, the store. And also this knob for something. I have no idea what all this, why all of this was in here. It's like leftover stuff the guy had. Oh, and then there was one other thing. There was this wireless uh, Wii nunchuck with uh, the receiver and the charging cable. I'm going to clearly charge it to see if it works. Uh, the, the light is lit. It's charging. The camera just can't see it. And this blue stuff's sticky. Kind of disgusting. I'm going to see if I can sell this and get some of, those, some of that $18 back. Probably get a few dollars. And these are a few more things. Uh, some Switch games uh, from a local uh, game store called uh, Game Exchange. I got a uh, Metopia for 37 used. And the cartridge doesn't look like it's ever been in a system, so it looks like someone bought it and never used it. Then from GameStop, they have this on sale for uh, about uh, $40, Monster Hunter Stories 2. I was wishing I would have got the one that had like the the typo that's on download required. Uh, this game does not require download. It's not one of those half physical, half digital. I just wanted the one with the typo just so I can have it. And like, oh yeah, they Capcom, uh, Capcom was kind of stupid. They forgot about that because they're a little uh, half physical, half digital, halfy. Then uh, I got this from Best Buy, Disgaea Six. Uh, I had them price match Amazon, and uh, they had it for uh, 35 so price match, and I got the points. And then uh, right next to the Best Buy, there's a Big Lots. Found the Blu-ray for uh, Happy Time Murders. Used a 20% off coupon, so it was just $4 instead of 5 Then a uh, package came for Right Stuff Anime. My father thought it was his. Uh, this is from, like, their birthday sale. It, they put it in with some of the other ones I got. Attack on Titan Season 1. Still waiting for Season 2, but then I think that might be the last item I'm waiting for their birthday sale. So it must have been waiting to ship that out. Then, How Clumsy Are You, Miss You Know? Yamada's first time, the uncensored complete series. Black Rock Shooter. And I've been wanting to get this, but I've been want waiting for the price to go down. They had it on sale for, I think, about half. Devil Man Lady, uh, complete series. And I could get rid of that Volume 1 DVD I have. Yeah, I found the Volume 1 DVD of this at a Goodwill. And I'm always like, why is only Volume 1 here? Where's the other six? But uh, now I got the Blu-ray. Oh, and did you know in Game Builder Garage, you could connect a USB mouse, and you could actually play and make your games with it? So I'll get a spear object. Take it and move it over here. And then go in the settings. So this is kind of nice. Also, I notice if you grab one of the neurons, it spins it around and makes it gets all dizzy. 